Big UTOL 11 is your back to school headquarters and we have everything you need to know to get your kids ready to hit the classroom and to protect them and all the other kids certain medical criteria must be met. Dr. Ronald Charles is here from Buckeye Health Plan with those details. Good morning. Good morning Amanda. So we're talking about getting those shots. I know kids probably don't get excited for that sort of thing <laughs> but it is there is a reason why it is required for kids to have a certain uh, amount of immunizations before they head to the classroom yes um, it's very important for kids to, to make sure that kids are immunized so that they um, don't develop many of the childhood illnesses that can be quite devastating and and not also expose other children right. to those childhood illnesses as well right so when we're talking about going maybe starting kindergarten what are some of those shots that are required for, for the young kids? Yes, if they've already had their shots as infants, then it's time for, for their booster okay. shots. So things like um, <clears throat> um, the diphtheria, tetanus, and um, pertussis, or ho whooping cough. Mm -hmm. um, um, a flu shot is very important as well because the new recommend, the recommendations are that all people between the ages of six months on up should have a flu a flu shot, a flu shot okay, yes okay yes so i unfortunately though there's still here in ohio there's still quite a few families where you know they're not meeting those requirements yes unfortunately um, we have um, a dubious distinction of being 48th out of 50 states mm -hmm. in terms of our immunization rate. Mm -hmm. um, this is, August is National Immunization Awareness Month, so we feel that it's very important that we make it known that um, children should have their immunizations before they attend school. If, um, if they have not, um, if they've missed some, there, there are amended schedules for them to um, um, get their um, immunizations and still be on track. Okay, it's not too late. We want to make sure all these kiddos are healthy and uh, good to go back to school. Absolutely. Where should parents start? I mean, should they just go with their like their primary? They care should. Doctor? Yes, they should. They should um, make sure that their child um, sees their primary care physician, either a pediatrician or their or a family medicine physician mm -hmm. for their immunizations. Okay, and they can get them done there. Maybe if um, that's not an availability there, uh, they can. They can go to the health department. Yeah, okay, yeah, so there are places yes, to go. Yes, but it's very important that children have regular physical exams. Sure. A lot of times people, um, parents feel, oh, my kid isn't sick, there's no reason to really go to the, right. to the physician, but it is. It's very important that children go to the doctor on a regular basis, whether they're um, um, having issues, sure. um, chronic health issues or not, it's just very important that they go on a regular basis. Got to get that checkup, and then yes. everybody wants to get that clean bill of health. So then you'll Absolutely. feel better after you send the kids. Yes. Right? There's something else too. We're talking eye exams is an important oh, thing too. Oh, very important because a lot um, because in order we want to make sure that we optimize the child's ability to learn mm -hmm. and um, making sure that they have um, proper eye health is one of those. So they should also be having regular eye exams so then um, yearly eye exams so if there's something that's an issue it can be picked up and they can get um, corrective lenses so that they'll yeah. be able to see the class to see the um, board they don't have blackboards anymore <laughs> whiteboards now but um, so that they can be able to focus and pay attention um, because it's very important that um, we correct those vision um, issues yeah. early and they may not tell you mom I'm having a hard time seeing you know exactly so you, you gotta exactly. You gotta get them in and get those exams. And August is also National Eye Health and, <laughs> and Safety it Month. It works out, doesn't so, it? Oh <laughs> yeah, so right, it's perfectly timed with the beginning of, of school. school. So get yes. those shots, get those eye exams, and your kid will be off to a really great start for a new yes. school year, right? Doctor, yes. thank you so much for coming in today. We You're welcome. It. Thank you, Amanda.